What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man and we are back on the South America farming simulator map Estancia La Pacho is what I think it is called. Uh, we are back on our little villa here. We have uh let me see what was it? We have the uh we have uh, our harvester going right now. I'm um, just getting him going on the wheat that we have because I just want to get that wheat done right away as soon as possible so we can get to pulling all that out. But I was going through everybody's comments from last video. Can I open that door? Oh, I can't get in here. Oh no, hold on, wait, maybe I can't open that door. Nope. All right, but I was looking at everybody's comments from last video. And everybody said that I missed a convertible in a garage. Um, I think I know where you guys are talking about, so I'll run over there in just a minute, but we're going through all the equipment right now. I'm um, just double checking everything I got. I got some weights, a couple different weights, heavier, smaller. Uh, we got forklift, or we got front loaders, got some some fertilizer, some seed, we got our cultivator, and then this thing right here. This, oh wait, oh yeah, this is for the sugar cane. Sugar cane, during harvest, specialized sugar cane tippers are commonly used as they have a higher tip weight, or tip height, <laughs> allowing them to tip the sugar cane stocks directly into a truck to guarantee a quick transport. Sugar cane can't be stored in silos, however, it can be tipped anywhere on the ground and stored there. Different stations offer different prices for sugar, uh, for sugar cane, but most profitable station would be the sugar cane mill. All right, so basically every single time we were going to sell some sugar cane, let's get through here. So every single time we we're going to sell some sugar cane, which is right here, we were always going to sell at the sugar cane mill, which is what they just told us to do. But Sugarcane Mill is not the most profitable spot right now. What the heck? It's transport. All right. Oh, well. Uh, but the most profitable. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be our tipper. Oh, oh. Helper D is almost full. All right. Let's get. Let's go help him. So we got our Massey Ferguson right here. This is an MF. Uh, was it 4709? Yeah, 4709. Uh, I don't know if you guys want me to bring in. Uh, oh. He's done. Almost done. All right, and stop, 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 stop. There we go. All right. So I don't know if you guys want me to bring in. Oh, dude, quit moving on me. Bring in any John Deere uh, equipment. If you do, comment down below, guys, and let me know if you want John Deere stuff. If you don't want John Deere stuff, I won't put John Deere stuff in. If you do, I will. Um, or you can put Massey in. Uh, or we could stick with like this Strata stuff, which is one of the other tractors I have. But let me know. I'm just trying to decide here shortly because I want to get some new equipment in here. But this equipment that we got right now, it's fine. It's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty basic equipment. Obviously, like see here, we're filling up pretty quickly here. Ah, come on. Keep it going. There we go. I do really like this. Uh, I like some of the equipment though that they were they provided us with when we started up this map because like a lot of it's open air like this like all the John Deere stuff is gonna be closed cab pretty much because it's gonna be expected to use in the cold but this is always used in the heat and out in the out in the uh, Sun all day long so as you can see here uh, the tractor I'm running it's got okay, they're, they're good now it's got a uh, it's open no windows same with that harvester it is weird it's got like zero cab it's just pure machinery and that's pretty much all there is to it all right we're gonna Drop that guy right there for now. But this is the other one we got. We got the star. This one does have a cab. This is a little bit better of one. Um, there's another one I wanted to show you over here, guys. This is our. It's a case is case IH 1455. Uh, super basic one. Uh, I think we're actually gonna drop this guy off and we're gonna switch to the star. Uh, move that there. Tab back around. All right. So now we're back on the star. So we need to get to over there, over there in that direction. Let's go first person. Let's check this out. I really am digging the green, the green and orange color scheme for this map, and a lot of the equipment and machinery is absolutely beautiful and stunning. I really, really, really like it. Uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Hit that video with a like button if you guys really like this green um, and orange machinery, because I'm really liking it. So I'm thinking about buying some more star stuff. Let me show you guys really quick what we got here. Um, there's a few things added all throughout, but should be here towards the end. So we got these two. We got the one that we're in right now, and then we got the bigger one. Um, and then that Massey is also a uh, part of the expansion. But I'm thinking about 
picking up this one. Oh, and everybody, by the way, the tractor that the John Deere tractor that everybody voted for was the 9R, and most people said the wheeled version over the tracked version. Um, wait, no, 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 no. But yeah, pretty much this is what we got here. We got those three and then uh, harvesters. I'll show you guys the new ones they added for those. They added the, it's the Bison Super. I showed you guys that one last time. It's one we're running right now. Anything for beet harvesting? Nope. I know we got sugarcane though. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is what we got for sugarcane harvesting and planting. We can buy a case IH. I don't know why they messed up, but all it just says is I. Uh, so that's a little weird, but we can buy super huge uh, tippers, which they tip all the way up there. If they have huge tip points, so you can tip them right into the back of a truck or a semi or whatever you want to tip it into. But I think we're going to be picking up this guy come soon. Uh, what's the what's the width on these? Two meters? One meter? So either way, we're not going to be doing too much. This will just be doing double technically. Um, but it's no big, no big deal. All right, so we're going to be... Um, Whoa. What is with this the machine? All right, so we're going to be doing uh, sugar cane here in a second. I'm trying to figure it out. We're going to go in and make sure we got our automatic refill turned on. Uh, if you guys know what that is, I'll show you really quick. Then withering off, plowing. Uh, that's, that's all fine. I should probably turn up the fertilizer states to three. Periodic plowing required, yes, yes. All right, so yeah, we got all these things turned off. Fuel's low, that's fine, it's not a big deal. Let's save the game really quick so we save those settings. All right, let's hire a worker and watch how this thing goes. Oh, so that's how it goes. So you gotta drop it into the ground, otherwise it goes like side to side. So it looks like it sticks the sugarcane stock. So I think we're gonna have Oh yeah, I can see it. There you go. Yeah, you can see it happening right up there. So it goes one down the middle. Is it one or two? Maybe it sticks two stocks in. Um, or maybe it's on each one of these. Yeah, it's on each one of these. So yeah, it'll probably stick in two in. But it'll just go through. Uh, I think it's going to take quite a while to do this whole field. I'm not sure what the yield is going to be on these or like how much we're going to make. I'm hoping it's a lot of money though. Uh, that, I mean, obviously I'd be hoping it's a lot of money, but... I don't really know what sugarcane yield is. See if we yield a ton of money or not a lot of money. And then I gotta go over and I gotta check out this convertible that everybody was talking about. Ooh, don't want me driving tractors on my new lawn. But everybody was said I missed a convertible earlier. So I'm gonna drive over there and see if I can find where that was. We're just gonna drive this back over here. We're just gonna drop this guy off where the sugarcane star was. Never mind, doesn't fit. All right, let's get you underneath the awning here. Get you out of the sun. There you go. Uh, we'll probably need that tipper. Not yet, though. Not for a while. Is this another sower right here? Yep, looks like it. All right, so. Get over to our truck. All right, so it was. Let me see if I can find. Uh, okay, so I think it was back here to the right. So everybody said that I missed a con. Wow, this thing is squirrely right now. So everybody said I missed the shop with a convertible. So we're going to go find that really quick. Because uh, I'm a little bunch of people commented about it. Uh, let's get out of first person. I can't really see where I'm going right now. Where we need to go to. I think it's over here. Let me double check. Um, or it's by the lumber yard. I don't know. I'll drive around and find it though because i was like what the heck is this doing out here in the middle of nowhere and everybody's like no 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 turn around turn around so i gotta go find that i'm going the wrong way i'm definitely going the wrong way oh hey that's what sugarcane looks like by the way look like is that sugarcane or that corn that's, that is that's corn never mind that is that's probably corn i think that's corn dang i thought it was sugarcane i was like oh wait we can see what it looks like and it's uh an estate Oh, dang it. All right, so we're just going to follow this road down here. I'm going to see if I can find this convertible car. Everybody was talking about it. So we're going to go find it really quick. I think it's right up here. Is it over there? Is it that? Nope, that's the gas station. 
Um, we're gonna cut left then. Oh man, I love the look of this uh, this map. It's absolutely gorgeous. And look at that, I love the old time cars and everything. Oh, nearly full grain tank. All right, we're gonna need to get over there in a minute. Let's see if we can get over here to this first. Come on, rodeo, go, 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 go. Meow. Uh, is it that? Is that the one? Is that the one? I think it is. Is it this one? Is this where you buy and sell? This is probably the spot where you buy and sell everything. I swear this is the one I drove by and everybody freaked out. Huh. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Uh, let's drive up here by the lumber yard. Yeah, let's drive up by the lumber yard. Cross railroad tracks. I was gonna, I was just about to shoot across that gap there, but then I decided, uh, probably shouldn't, cause you know there's some uh, water there. All right, here I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check and see what you guys said really quick. All right, everybody. So I just looked. I've, all you guys said was I missed the convertible. I can't find it. Um, but this is the shop here. This big building. Uh, that is for sure. That's where you repair and do everything. Uh, let's drive back now. Let's see. Make sure I, I still don't know this map at all. So I'm pretty still pretty bad with directions. So I'm gonna keep checking my map every once in a while. At least get the mini map up so I don't get myself lost. But I'll find that convertible here soon. Don't you guys worry about that. We need to get over there back to our uh, farm though. Mainly because the uh, the harvester is full. I think. So let's get back here. Slower down. I'd figure if we had like this big of like a Thing of property and this uh this like ranch i figured we'd have some better equipment but you know what we're starting out we're starting fresh it's okay we're good we're good let's park our car in the garage a little dirty there we go there we go we got to get a ferrari in here sometime once we get big money i'll find out what, what car exports from uh south america we'll get one of those all right let's get this guy off we're gonna back it up so we don't damage the crop I'll switch to the guy who takes it. Let's go Massey. I really like this Massey Ferguson, though. There's something about the thin wheels I really like. I don't like the ones that are super, super thin wheel, but I like the ones that are narrower than the regular thick tires. Not the narrow wheels, um, or the, but it, I don't know. It's hard to describe. This one's different. I like it. It looks cool. Ooh, all right. So we're almost full here. Where's our silos at? I know we have silos somewhere. I think they're... Oh, there they are. Over there. Over there. Over there. Straight... What is that? Straight south of us. Holy crap. Is this guy still going? There we go. I will back up out of his way. Hop out. Hop back in. And then... Crank this guy. So he is almost done. I thought that field was connected to ours at first. I was like, what the heck? Why is only half the field planted? Close that. Get this guy lined up. There we go. Hire ourselves a worker. All right, we're going to take this back now. It's about 82%. We're going to drop this off um, over here because we don't really have any. I don't know if we can. We don't really have anything to transport grain yet. I mean, we have our truck and we have this tipper, um, but I would love a semi that can hold a ton more than just this. Uh, let's see if we can find a way over to these. See, so these definitely look, yeah, these are definitely working grain bins. Uh, that's where we fill, and this is where we dump. All right. Drive up here. There we go. Now, let's see if we have any grain already with us. Because sometimes, yeah, we have some corn. But yeah, sometimes when you start the game out, they give you a little bit. Oh, wow, we have a lot of everything. Never mind. They give you a little bit of everything. Just for you to sell it when you want to and you just store it. I don't know if it gives it to you when you're on hard or not, but uh, in this easier version, it does. So, let's go back around. I have to do a full loop. We're just going to cut through right here. There we go. I wonder if we can plow up this grass. I wonder if we. I wonder if you rip up the grass, if you plow somewhere around here. If it'll turn to brown dirt or if it'll stay this nice looking orange and red reddish dirt. Oh, if it stayed the orange one, that would be so sick. 
I would absolutely love that. And if grass is as green as this grass when you plant it, it's not like that really dark green grass. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be absolutely sick. If you guys know, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Like, let me see. This grass looks like it's pretty tall. It looks like it's what you cut. So if we, we can probably just plant a whole field here of this grass. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. Maybe we will. I think we might. I think we might plant a whole field of grass. Just to see what it looks like. I mean, other than the fact that it just looks like grass, duh. Oh, we really need to plant on field two here. Field two is ours. Do we have anything planted on field two at the current state it is in? I don't think we do. No, it is blank. All right, so once this guy over here finishes, we are definitely going to... Actually, no, we don't need to wait for that, dude. What am I talking about? We'll keep the Massey here because we still need the Massey. Uh, we'll set this right here. That guy, that guy shouldn't hit it by then. We're going to hop in our case and we're going to go attach to our sewer. Um, That looks fairly heavy, so we're going to snag a front weight really quick here, boys. I don't think I can grab a fun front weight with this one. Yeah, I don't have the the uh, attacher on the front. What am I saying? Can this one even take? This can't even take the. Uh, this doesn't have front loading attachments. That kind of sucks. All right, so it is full and ready to go. It is a fertilizer and a uh, planter, which is good. Save us some precious time. Let's go case, baby. But yeah, guys, don't forget to comment down below what kind of brand you want me to use. I'm going to be using a ton of this Stara stuff, this green and orange one, because I really am digging the colors. Um, I might just do a bunch of that. I might do a mix of that and John Deere. I don't know. I might go purely John Deere. I just want to know what everybody thinks I should do, so leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, but let's go back here. Let's go find what we're selling right now. What are we going to make to sell for the most money? Oh, soybeans are not doing that great. Wheat is a decent price. Oh, sunflowers. Sunflowers are doing pretty good, and canola is doing pretty good also. So, all right, we're going to get going with some uh, canola here if we can do canola. Yeah. No, sunflowers. No, we can't do sunflowers. Okay, canola it is. Canola it is. All right. Is it planting? It is. It's missing a little bit of the edge here, but... I'll give it to him. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering why my tractors are all bouncing around looking all realistic, it's because I have the four real dirt module uh, mods on. So that's why I've always put those on. It makes the tires dirty. It makes the tractors and uh, harvesters bounce around. Uh, it's just a little bit more realistic, and I like it. See all that dirt spinning up. So that's why I use that. If you guys didn't know, if anybody was ever wondering why I, uh, why my game is always bouncy and going everywhere, it's because I try and keep it somewhat realistic with some of the stuff I'm using here. Let's see if we can turn down our cruise control and settle at a good six miles an hour. Keep up with this dude. Ah, there we go. All right, so yeah, harvester is just running at six miles an hour, so we're just gonna follow him for a bit until he comes to the end here and tries to turn into us. Come on, keep giving me all of it. Oh, he's gonna back up. Just chill here. Just wait, dude. Wait. All right, I think he's just gonna chill and wait for us. Mm, yep. So he finished, so now we can just whip it back around and we'll meet him at the other end. That was only about half of what he had in him, but we, we got that out of there, which is good. Uh, we're probably gonna finish it. This, this one's gonna be done real soon. Real, real, real soon. It's so weird to play this map after I played so much of the Seasons map, if you guys know what that is. Uh, it's just way different, I can't really play Seasons. Oh, excuse me. I can't really play seasons on this map because I mean, you might maybe you could put the season mod on this map, but it doesn't snow here. So I might just be year-round farming. So that's going to go to Ooh, let's go take a dip in the pool. And get them all. Oh, that didn't work. We can almost get in the pool. All right, so we're just going to wait for all that to go. Let's go check on our sugarcane planter. Oh, uh, what happened here? He skipped the lane. All right, we'll go back and we'll plant that later once he's done. Oh, man, it was just taking forever. We're going so slow. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Do we have any sugar cane with us? We don't have any in us. Um, 
We're gonna use that sugarcane tipper as a transport. We're gonna see how much that can hold, and we're gonna use that to transport everything. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I don't know yet. Uh, I think you might be able to. I would, I'm sure it would hold whatever you want it to hold. Okay, yep. Yeah, um, definitely can't do that with the uh, the rodeo truck right here. So we're just gonna go uh, park this guy in the driveway. What the heck? All right. Let's see if the Massey can do it. Let's go hop in the Massey. Okay, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna see if we can pull that with this. And maybe we can do a front attacher on this. I don't know. Looks like it has the front loader. I'm a dummy. I should probably turn this on. Probably gonna need it in a minute. Let's see. That's for the rear. What am I thinking? Why am I trying to do that when that's for the rear? I don't know, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Let's just snag this. Hopefully, this doesn't throw our front end up. Oh, we're a little slow. A little slow. But the Massey can do it. Massey's not designed for it, I don't think. But I think it can do the job. All right. So, we're going to go snag some, uh, some grain. I don't know what kind. We're going to grab one of these. Um, pull in a little bit. All right, let's take. Oh, can we not fill up, dude? No, we can't fill up on this. All right, that's bad. All right, we need to go find a tipper. A big tipper, not a small little dinky tipper like we got now. What do we have right now? Do we have one of these? I think we have that colored orange. Oh, I kind of want a gravity wagon too. Oh, I don't know. Maybe an auger wagon though. Oh, look what we got. We got that star auger wagon. Oh, that looks so good. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, here. Now, I'll just wait till the next episode, guys. Next episode, we will be selling some of our grain here. We need to be making some money. We're losing quite a bit planting, uh, which isn't too big of a deal. But we are getting a ton of money from... Uh, harvesting right now which is what we got going on we're harvesting planting doing everything else in between but we'll wait till next video since you know i can't use this tipper now which kind of sucks so that's only used for sugarcane note to self note to self only use this for sugarcane hooks up to that guy right there but thank you everybody for watching this video if you guys stayed tuned this far you are pretty awesome and happy new year's to everybody it's january 1st so Happy New Year's, everybody, and I'll see everybody in the next Farming Simulator video.